going to make it. So I'm out here at a job today in Monterey for an Aussie broadband customer who's with fibre to the curb. Now, this is an a interesting one. Um, she had her uh, phone, an iPhone, hacked. Um, how long ago was that? Uh, it was months and months ago. About a month ago. Um, and they got access to her um, app, you know, Apple ID. Now, she's gone through a methodical process to... Uh, you know, change all the passwords, but somehow she still, you still couldn't get into your uh, Apple account. Is that right? Your Apple ID is just, it's there some days and then not there the, the next? Yeah. So it doesn't, when you log, try and search for the Apple ID, it doesn't exist. And sometimes it does exist. It didn't exist for a whole month. Yep. And now it, it's back up. So okay. it's actually existing now. So... Ever since she had that problem with her phone, since she's come home, um, obviously she's connected that phone to her home network. And since then she's been, everything's been hacked, right? So this is her second router. Um, and this is her second um, computer here. That's the other one there. Now, I wanna put a question out to the community here. Does anybody know if MBN um, modems, the fiber to the curb modem itself, can be hacked? Um, because she's got brand new devices every time and she's taken me through exactly what she's been doing. And it keeps, cha things keep changing around on her. Um, do you want to show us some, some of those photos there that you were showing us before? <clears throat> They're actually on this computer. So, just so, just so, because uh, this one's a bit beyond me. Um, so, I know there's a couple of cyber security guys and stuff on here. So, if you guys can get back to us, that'd be great. Um, and I'll be able to put you in contact with this lady here. So, my, I actually went to the nursing home. Um, I had half set up the my brand new TP Link router. I had my MacBook firmware reset by the Apple shop and when I came back I couldn't get back into the router I had to do a factory reset to get back in and I had these things open on my MacBook which were um, spotlights trying to access my metadata chain uh, sharing D wanted to hand off encryption um, caller service telephony when I wanted to access your keychain and I couldn't get back in. I did a pin reset. I got back in. I found all these strange settings, um, the CWMP setting and the remote management was enabled when the default for the TP link is for it to be disabled. And I, I don't know what these are. I wouldn't have been able to set this up. So I tried to toggle that off and then I went to still enabled, but it had this address as well. So I actually did a, a boot I did a, a factory reset boot on the TP link router and and then tried to get back into the system logs and I'll just start from the number four actually will probably make more sense from number four so um, I'd actually set I'd set that up the time um, but it's saying 20, or well, I guess that's just when, when you set up the router, it goes, does that. The, the times and the firewalls get enabled. And then there's remote access addresses there as well. And that's, that's the MAC address from my lap, the laptop. And then there's, um, there's a VoIP warning, but I hadn't actually set up VoIP at all. Um, and you spoke to Aussie Broadband yeah. about that as well. Yeah. And they said that you must have been trying to set up VoIP, yeah, but you hadn't. But I hadn't. No. All I'd done is I've just got an Ethernet cable straight into the laptop. That's it. Yep. And then there's uh, all these remote access addresses with the VoIP. And then there's a HTTPD setting with that DNS address, which I'm not sure what that means at all. So that was one of the VoIP things. And then some of those logs, they were changed in the address. Even one was uh, 1970. 
Like yeah. Don't change the every time yeah, so, you go back yeah, in. Yeah. So there's a factory. I did a complete factory reset uh, of this router actually, and they keep changing the system time to back to the default. I guess I guess that's 2016. Um, and that's that was just in the logs before I reset it. And then, so I did a reboot of the whole router. Um, I set the time to the current time, which was a few days ago. And there's no remote management enabled on this router. Um, and then I just disconnected my computer, um, connected the modem straight into the NBN box. And within minutes, I hadn't even set up. So, so this is actually the log before I disconnected my computer. And, and I hadn't set up the, the router completely. I just disconnected my computer, plugged the, the router into the modem, and, and within minutes, the internet was, button was, was working. And the first thing that you see in, I uh, had a look at the logs. I disconnected it, plugged it back into my computer, and you can see the EWAN link up, and it says 1970. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the on the log, so and then it's it's got all these other like remote addresses, and it's saying Ewan link down, and then there's unicasting from these remote addresses, then LAN link up, LAN link down, LAN link up, and this is all with my computer not connected to it, not connected to the internet, no. So, but you have connected this router to that MBM modem, correct? Yeah. At some stage, yeah. No, I, I plugged it in. I see the internet, um, the white button come up on the on on the TP link, yep. and then I just disconnected it and plugged it straight into my computer so I could get the logs to see what right. was happening. So she's really done a pretty um, thorough sort of job of trying to narrow this down, but. The problem seems to be um, there's obviously something they've, you know, even when she, I thought maybe she might have had another Apple product here um, that was turned on and maybe because that had been, a phone had been affected, maybe that was affected too. But she assured me that everything's been turned off. She made sure and went and made sure everything was uh, uh, turned off so there was no other uh, devices that were connecting. Um, I actually disabled the Wi-Fi off the router as well because yep. with the button on the side, the Wi-Fi button, so there's no Wi-Fi. And that keeps turning itself back on, doesn't it? Yeah. So she'll turn that on, off, and then it'll just turn itself back on again. Um, so the only thing, that, you know, maybe could possibly be is I'm not sure, but can that modem be hacked? Um, I don't see why it couldn't be, but if they've infected that, then every time she plugs something in, a new router, it's going to infect that router. Yeah? Yeah? He's down here. We're making a video. So, yeah, anything else we can add to maybe help? Um, also the... So what's he saying? The... So it has, um, has it been uh, compromised or...? Oh, I'd say so, 100%. The router? Well, we're not exactly sure. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is the um, when I go into the uh, where is it uh, this this other thing so this came up once uh, once or twice only one device can log in at a time to your wow. <laughs> do you do you want to continue and force the other device to log off <laughs> but, but the issue um, uh, uh, sorry what's your name Jason Jason is that We've had four routers. Oh, I've gone there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So Just tell me all about it. Yeah. So and uh, Sharon's, you know, had a lot of other concerns that have been able to be explained. Mm -hmm. So what I'm wanting to understand is what what the situation actually is, mm. because I know that you know Sharon got hacked. Yep. And you know that's obviously caused her to be extremely. You know, uh, concerned and yeah. you know, um, hyper vigilant. Absolutely, be and so we've, we've followed up quite a few things that haven't quite panned out. Yep. You know, in the way. So I want to be absolutely certain that you know this 
this is the issue and it can't be explained in any other way. Look, I'm not a cyber security expert, yeah. but that's what you need for something like this. Well, okay? we've already had, yeah. So what I'm thinking is that the MBN modem itself has been hacked, right? So it's, it's obviously somehow they've got to this and they know that you need that for every time you plug in a router. You need that modem basically to plug your router into. Mm-hmm. So, and and how, how would that happen? How would an MBN? Well, maybe if you had all your devices connected to the old router and then somehow they've managed to get into this and then whatever they've put in on that. But like I said, this is full-on cyber security type stuff that you yeah. need. Okay. I'm going to have to go. Uh, I, I did show you the IP and Mac unbinding before, but I can't, it's not here anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Didn't, didn't I show you that before? The IP, you did, yeah. The IP and Mac binding being un- unbound. It was unloaded. That's what it said. It didn't said unloaded, but I can't see that photo anymore. Right. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's happening in real time. Yeah. You saw that photo, didn't you? I did, yeah. It said unloaded. Yep. But it's gone. I can't find it. I actually had a save the screenshot down here. I don't know where that's gone. Oh, did we go through the VoIP? The, yep. Yeah. Oh, let's just see. So you can see here, they've got, you can see uh, in the logs that VoIP um, has been connecting, but she's never set it up. All right? Even when she spoke to Aussie Broadband, they said, well, obviously you must have tried to set it up. Um, and she hasn't. You know, she obviously knows what she's doing. Um, and yeah, so. This is a little bit beyond my pay grade, this stuff. This is definitely full cyber security type thing. Um, so, you know, if there's anyone that's on this channel, I know there's a couple of yous that are cyber security experts, even some IT wizards. Um, can you leave some stuff in the comments here, please? Um, so I can relay it back to the customer because um, it'd be great. I'd be really grateful for your help on this one. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can't find that unbound, unloaded photo at all. Right. It's gone. Okay. I don't know how that happens, like how. It's not connected to the internet. There's no internet access. You saw the photo. I saw the photo. Yep. Yep. All right, so I think we'll shut this off now. We don't really need this anymore. Hey, guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.